Hey guys, Rich here, part four of a uh, wireless experimentation series. Uh, this is a solid state Tesla coil, I believe, anyway. I'll tell you how to make it, or uh, how I made it, and then you tell me if it's a solid state Tesla coil. Uh, I took a ballast from a scanner that was driving a fluorescent tube, that's the scanner bulb. And uh, I noticed inside of the ballast it's 6,000 volt capacitor, so it steps it up to that. Uh, you know, we've got 6,000 volts, and all I'm doing is taking the hot lead, running that into the bottom of this coil, and the coil goes up into the ball and throws radio frequencies everywhere. So, I don't know if it's a solid state Tesla coil or a Slayer Exciter, whatever you want to call it, but uh, let's see how it works. I, uh, oops, I can't see that. Uh, there we go. Tell it's throwing radio frequencies enough to uh, light this bulb. And I'm just holding the bulb near it. So it's pretty cool. That's what I wanted to make, so I can test uh, other devices and see if see if I can make a, actually a rectenna is what I'm looking into now. It's a microwave frequency harvester. So if we can make that, we could uh, you know throw frequencies around the house or whatever, and then uh, pick it up with our RF har harvester. So that's the CFL. Let's see if uh, I'm gonna light this. This is a UV bulb. Gonna light it. Done it before. Oh, there we go. It's like a little lightsaber. That's the UV um, from inside of a. Inside of a, a fan, actually, so I guess it's for air purification. But it'll do that. It'll do CFLs and um, LEDs and whatnot. So pretty cool little solid-state Tesla coil. I guess it's that. That's what it is. But you tell me. And uh, next time we'll see if we can harvest some of this radio frequency.